Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gamer here. So I've had my new MSI GTX 1080 Ti Gaming X graphics card for around about a week now, and so far I'm being thoroughly impressed with it. The acoustics of the card are very, very silent. The performance is phenomenal, and the cooling is pretty sensational. From what I can see, I I don't really breach 70 degrees in pretty much every situation, which is awesome. So what I want to do now is try and extract a little bit more performance from the card by overclocking. And what I do intend to do is make a stock versus overclock performance comparison just to see just how much I can get from this card which is already boosting to 1936 megahertz out of the box so um, I don't expect much but we'll have to see so um, what I'm going to do now is show you the overclock settings I'm going to be using for this test so I will be increasing my voltage by 50 and I'll also increase the power limit to 117% which on my card in particular is the maximum other cards will have more um, when it comes to the core clock I was only able to increase the core by 88 megahertz which is definitely not massive but considering the card has um, a 1936 boost clock out of the box you know it's to be expected that there wasn't too much headroom left Moving on to the memory now, I was able to increase that by 350 megahertz. Any more seems to create a bit of instability. So that's about as far as I could push the memory, but um, the bandwidth of the GTX 1080 Ti at this um, kind of overclock is pretty insane. So much so that it's actually exceeding um, HBM1, which you will find on the, the AMD Fury X. So that's pretty much it for my test guys, I'm pretty surprised to be honest with such a small overclock to the core and a pretty tame overclock to the memory by GTX 1080 Ti standards that there's still quite a bit of performance left in this card if you're willing to um, just to push it to its limits. So when you're looking at Rise of the Tomb Raider I gained an extra 9 frames per second on average which is pretty insane. Um, Battlefield 1 showed an increase of around 7 frames per second so as you can see it does vary from game to game. Uh, moving on to uh, Shadow of Mordor that showed an increase of 6 frames per second so the lowest so far but again 6 frames per second is not that bad especially for 
under 100 megahertz um, added to the core and finally dirt rally showed an increase of again nine frames per second so um, I wasn't really expecting such an increase in performance but um, that's obviously welcome for the games that will will need it I'm personally pretty happy with what this car does from out of the box but it just goes to show you that this get this car does really have um, some serious performance under the hood so hopefully any of you guys found this useful um, and if you're into overclocking please just do your research overclock safely um, I do not take any responsibility for anyone who decides to copy the settings I've used and damages their card anyway guys hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching Showing love Say what's up when I'm around They were saying it was love But we see them in the crowd now We're too young to give a fuck All we know is that for now I said what's up, what's up